Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about data storage forms or the data storage formats. So before discussing it, we know that data storage means recording of files or documents and saving them in a storage system. So data or the files can be our picture, video, audio, whatever kind of data we have. And for storing then we have been using different types of storage like we have been using hard disk drives and here you can see this hard disk drive and we have been using SSD and flash storage and these days we also have uh, cloud storage so these are different types of storage where we can save our data but now the question is that how they save and what are the ways the data can be saved on those storage types so there are three basic ways that data can be recorded and stored and those ways are file storage block storage and the object storage so this is something we are going to discuss in this video first we are going to discuss the uh, file storage which is also called file level or file based storage and uh, file storage organizes and stores our data as a hierarchy of files in folders for example here in this we can have files and uh, we can put these files in different uh, folders and when required we can go to that particular folder and we can get access to that file and on our computer computer let's say in windows based machine uh, for example i have d drive and within this d drive we have different folders and within that folder we can have different subfolders so this is actually giving a hierarchy so this is like within this we have this and in this we have this so this is like hierarchy so this is how file storage actually stores our data and now important thing about this is that every these files and folder they have some metadata associated with that and this metadata actually helps finding the data itself and this metadata can have, for example, here I have shown that if, for instance, I have created a resume, so metadata associated with that resume can be the name of author or the date, uh, date it was created or the date it was modified. So such kind of things actually are called the metadata associated with particular data. And now if a user wants to access data stored in a file storage, then a user can access it using certain protocols like SMB. So if they are using Windows based machine, then they can use SMB or if they are using Unix or Linux based system, then they can use NFS to access the data which is stored in file storage. Uses. So file storage is used for direct attached storage and the network attached storage. And with network attached storage, we can access our data over a network and then this is uh, one example of like direct attached storage and the second is this is example of network attached storage so we can access all these storage over network and now there are certain cloud service provider or cloud vendors which are providing file storage service like i have shown example of amazon so amazon have a, has a service efs elastic file system that is actually uh, that's actually a file storage service offered by cloud service providers and the second form of storage that is block storage so block actually divides our data into equal sized arbitrarily organized blocks and for example a file a picture video audio that can be broken into blocks and those blocks can be stored in non-sequential blocks and these blocks can be stored across multiple locations or maybe multiple hard drives so these blocks we can store them so this is like blocks here and every block will have a unique identifier which will be helpful in locating the block for its retrieval and these unique identifiers are basically stored in a data lookup table and this is just uh, this is not exactly how the data lookup table will look like but just to give you an impression that if a user wants to access any block then they will consult with this data lookup table and then they can retrieve that data from the block storage and now if a user wants to access those blocks so i have actually again drawn here the blocks here and if a user wants to access those block storage then they can access using certain protocols and these protocols are iSCSI 
fiber channel or fiber channel over ethernet maybe we'll explain about these protocols later in some other videos uh, now the block story the thing is that this is expensive and it has a limited metadata and uh, we can access all these blocks uh, over multiple paths so this makes it faster and I use this so block storage is usually deployed in a storage area network so a storage area network a network which gives us access to data storage and there are cloud service provider or cloud vendors which are providing block storage services like Amazon. They have a service called EBS, Elastic Block Store Storage. And then this is also Google Cloud Persistent Disk. This is also a block storage service offered by Google Cloud. And the third, the last if storage form or the format is object storage. And object storage is actually recommended for a large amount of unstructured data. So file is actually for structured. Sorry, I didn't mention this there. But this object storage is recommended for uh, unstructured data. So example of unstructured data are pictures, videos, audios, websites, social media data. So they all are actually unstructured data. And in this object storage, all these uh, these these files or the data they are stored as a distinct unit and we call them objects and each object has certain elements associated with them so it has an identifier it has the data itself attribute and metadata and as we have mentioned the metadata is the data that describes the data for example here in this case let's say this is the data is video so about that video, when it was created, when it was modified, so such kind of information we can have in this metadata. So each object has these identifier data, attribute and metadata. And they, these objects are stored in a flat environment. It means all objects are at the same level. Same levels means they will not have any kind of hierarchy which we have in file system, file storage system like folders within subfolders and so in this case in object storage we do not have folders or subfolders or subdirectories now we can put all those objects in a bucket and bucket is scalable we can have millions of objects in a single bucket and once we have once we have these objects in a bucket a user can access those objects using api application programming interface and uh, these protocols like rest api over http protocol can be used to access these objects available in a bucket and there are cloud uh, vendors which are providing object storage services so as an example I have shown here is Amazon Simple Storage Service or Amazon S3 is a service or the object storage service offered by Amazon. And then we also we have a service by Microsoft that's Microsoft Azure Blob Storage. So this is it for uh, our discussion on storage forms or storage formats. We discussed about file storage, block storage and object storage. And then there are different use cases that when we should be using maybe file storage and when we should be using object or maybe block storage. So we'll discuss it in some other videos. But at the moment, this is it for today's video. And thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Hope to see you in some other video.